But we've got one more thing. Actually, it's one more hobby. Um, so, of course, we're talking about Apple TV. Now, we introduced Apple TV four years ago. And we've sold a lot of them, but it's never been a huge hit. And uh, nor is any other competitive product. Nothing's really hit in the living room yet. But we talk to people that use Apple TVs, and they love them. They absolutely love them and use them a lot. So what have we learned in the last four years? What have we learned from our users? Well, we've learned a lot. The first thing is the number one, two, and three thing they want is they want Hollywood movies and TV shows whenever they want them. It's that simple. It's not really complicated. They want Hollywood movies and TV shows. They don't want amateur hour. They want professional content. And they want everything in HD. The HD revolution is over. It happened. HD won. Everybody wants HD. <laughs> they like to pay lower prices for content. Right? More, the lower the prices, the more they're going to watch. They don't want a computer on their TV. They have computers. They go to their widescreen TVs for entertainment, not to have another computer. This is a hard one for people in the computer industry to understand, but it's really easy for consumers to understand. They get it. They don't want to manage storage. When you buy a bunch of movies and TV shows, you have to manage them because you don't want to throw them away. You just bought them. And so you have storage management problems. Your hard disk starts to fill up. What are you going to do? People don't want to think about managing storage. They just want to watch movies and TV shows. And they don't want to sync to a computer. Most of them haven't even figured out what that is. <laughs> they want to pull some content off their computer, but they don't want the syncing stuff. It's too complicated. And they want whatever hardware we have to be silent, cool, and small. Right? Not too hard to understand. So this is what we've learned. And it's, it's really quite a bit different than a lot of other companies think. And either we're right or we're wrong, but this is what we've heard from our customers. And so we've made something new for them. This is the current Apple TV. We are introducing the second generation of Apple TV today, and this is what it looks like. It's a fourth the size. You can hold it in the palm of your hand. I have one here, actually. I mean, look at this. That's it. It's this little tiny box. Around the back, it's really simple. It's got the power supply built in it. There's no power brick, and all you need is plug in a power cord. One HDMI connector to go to your TV, which brings digital video and 5.1 surround sound. And if you have a terrestrial Ethernet, you can plug it in. Most of us don't, so we built in Wi-Fi, 802.11n. So you don't even need a hard network connection. It's really simple. And you plug in these two cables, usually, the power and the HDMI, and it's on your Wi-Fi network, and that's all you have to worry about. It's got a great remote with it, really beautiful aluminum remote. And it's real easy. It's about music. TV shows, and a lot of people like to stream their music from their computer to it as well. It's all HD when the content's available. We've gone to the rental model for this. There's no purchases on Apple TV anymore. You rent everything. The prices are more affordable, and guess what? There's no storage problem, because you don't store things anymore. You just rent them. And the rental prices are so inexpensive that you can afford to watch something several times, and it's still cheaper than if you would have bought it. You stream content from your computer if you want it. Photos, videos, 
music. There's no syncing required. It's super easy to just stream stuff right up from your computer. And when you stream photos in or get photos from somewhere else, stunning photo slideshows. And it's silent, cool, and tiny. So what about content? iTunes has the largest online library of movies to rent in the world. The largest library of HD movies in the world. So you can rent first run HD movies for $4.99, the day and date when they come out on DVD. And the library's great. The movies are great. And they get even cheaper as time goes on. But for first run movies, the day they come out on DVD, $4.99. Now to rent, to buy TV shows used to be $2.99 for HD TV shows. People said that was a little too expensive. To rent HD TV shows, they're going to be 99 cents. 99 cents. Now, and remember, these are commercial free as well, which is nice. Now, this is a big step for some of the studios to make, and not all of them wanted to take the step with us. So we've got ABC and Fox taking the step with us, going to be offering their shows for 99 cents. We think the rest of the studios will see the light and get on board pretty fast with us. So we're very excited to offer ABC and Fox shows for just 99 cent rentals. In addition, in addition to renting, in addition to renting Hollywood first run movies and TV shows, you can also, if you're a Netflix subscriber, stream content from Netflix's streaming library right on Apple TV. They have a large collection of movies you can stream for free if you're a Netflix subscriber. You can also watch anything you want on YouTube, including all the HD stuff that they have now. It's really exciting. You can get photos off of Flickr, and you can get video and photos off of MobileMe. And again, you can stream content off your computer, Mac or PC. Music, which is very popular, photos, and videos. <laughs> so. Apple TV. Now, we have content. We have content on iTunes in six countries: U.S., Canada, U.K., France, Germany, and Australia. And we've got more countries coming later on this year. The price of Apple TV was $229. One of the some feedback we got from our users was they'd like to see that more affordable. Two to three hundred dollar price range was just not something that a lot of users were willing to experiment with when they didn't quite know what this new age of digital television was going to be all about. And so we're going to lower the price from $299 for the old Apple TV to just $99 for the new Apple TV. So, the new Apple TV is available later this month in about four weeks, and you can pre-order today. So that is the new Apple TV.